Hello, it's the me, Fua, and it is the new year. So, I wanted to go ahead and make a video. But, I didn't want to just make another Omegle video because, you know, I don't have enough time. I'm only home for two days. And I wanted to just go ahead and talk a little bit to the camera and just say what's been going on this year and stuff like that and what I plan on doing next year. So, actually, you know what I'm going to do? Slap that there. Whoop. Okay, there we go. So, um, let's go ahead and get talking then. So, if I'm being honest with you guys, 2021 has not gone good for me, like, at all. I mean, there's been some good here and there, but, like, it has just been bad and it's ending on an even worse note, if I'm being real with you. <laughs> this is already a little bit stupid in the first place, so I don't want to get, like, super dumb and venti and be, like, you know pouring my heart out on the camera and shit but you know I do I don't want to be like mega vague or anything and I, I do want to be able to like you know I kind of use these videos as like something I can look back at and like know what was going on as well as like a creative outlet and so you know I thought it would be a good idea to kind of just say what's going on a bit so I'm not the kind of person who would like you know fake big old smiles for clickbaity on camera and shit I don't get paid anything so why would I even do that so just a fair warning this video is gonna be like a little bit Debbie Downer for a second but I hope that's not too much of a bother for some people I don't want to kill the new year vibe or anything I'm just saying what's going on but I promise uh, it's, it's I'm not gonna be Debbie Downer the whole time promise <laughs> but yeah so starting out as some of you guys may remember from an older video my grandmother passed away a couple months ago and that was really hard for me because I never had a family member that was like so close pass away before. I've had like cousins and aunts that I probably have like, you know, super distant and only like met once if I'm lucky. But like, you know, my grandmother was always there like my whole life at every occasion all the time. So that was, you know, that was a mess for me, honestly. You know, I took a big old break from making videos for a bit, even though like for me it's, it's a nice little outlet that I get to do to be creative and it makes me happy and, you know all that support and stuff that people do is like you know it actually does kind of make my day a little bit but you know I'm starting to get over that but it's you know it's not easy and it's definitely not a short process at all but on top of that I also have a lot of things going on with some friends and some family just these days that have been that's a little bit much if I'm being honest so, I'm not gonna try to be like one of those fucking like, you know, people making a video essay and goes all the way back to the beginning of time, but... Um, back in like 2019 is when I first got my first VR headset. And I had some really bad, uh, social anxiety, like not... Like, I, I don't know, it's just how to even describe it. It's, it was like, I literally could not talk to people, like, at all. Cause I grew up, like, very sheltered and very homeschooled. I didn't have any friends whatsoever like pretty much my whole life it was it wasn't great and when I got into VR I literally just couldn't talk to people like at all it was just real life VR games anything if it was someone I didn't know well I would just be a stuttery mess for two seconds before quitting which is then when I got like my first VR friend group which was mind-blowingly amazing for me it's done it's literally changed my life in those kind of dorky way but like I mean as you guys can tell by me making videos and me like you know socializing now I've obviously changed a lot and the big part of it is due to those friends that I made that first friend group I had was some of the best days of my life if I'm being honest you know, I'm not even sure if those people back then knew how much that meant to me because, you know, for them it was just being able to, like, play games and hang out. I'm sure they had a great time and we were all, we still talk about it, so I'm sure that they had a lot of good memories, but, like, you know, how much even more so for someone who, like, would almost break down if they <laughs> were called on in class or something by the teacher and would, like, you know, literally never had anybody that I could open up to or you know, socialize with or be able to, like, have that close of a friendship before. And so, how does that apply to this year? That was a couple years ago. Well, you know, across the course of this year, I've kind of just, we all drifted apart, it seems. And in some ways, it was pretty natural, and in some ways, it really wasn't. I mean, 
you know, some of us just got older, got jobs, and got things to do. And with some of us, it just didn't go too well. And obviously I'm not going to name any names because that would be a bit of a dick move, but like, you know, there has been some people that I was really close with who just over the past couple years, we've bumped heads to the point that we just couldn't hang out anymore. And that really just, it didn't sit right with me and it still doesn't. And probably the worst case is that like extremely recently, and I mean like extremely, extremely recently, I've had a friend tell me that he needed a break from like Discord and VR and just everything and just wanted to like get away from it all and start kind of fresh and I was you know I didn't want to be supportive of that because you know I would miss them and I, I, I care about them with all my heart but then it turned out that they actually didn't take a break because it turns out all they did was just kind of cut me out everywhere on VR chat rec room and it seems very likely that they, you know, I'm not 100% sure of it, but it seems likely they made a, just an alternate Discord and just kind of, you know. And that one, that one cut pretty deep a bit because I asked them and they promised that they would be coming back, but, you know, I was, I was trustful of it, and so I was, you know, waiting for them to come back, but, um, as it turns out, uh, the same week they said that they were leaving everything, uh, they had a bunch of things, a bunch of pictures uploaded on rec.net that one of my friends found and pointed out to me, and it turns out they were even uploading YouTube clips, and it's like, oh, so they never left at all. And while it's possible that I read the situation wrong, you know, I, I kind of doubt it. I mean, it's literally all still there on the internet. You know, that, that one, as you can probably guess, that one really didn't sit right with me at all. You know, and to put it kind of bluntly, you know, just... This year really kind of didn't go too good. I've been drifting apart with my friends. A lot of bad stuff in real life has been happening. And, you know, so far the only thing good thing that's happened is this channel, if I'm being honest with you. Like, there's been a lot of little things like me being on the move out and stuff, but, like, I wouldn't really say it compensates. But the thing is, you know, I've been thinking about it a lot. And, you know, I don't want this to, like, knock me down, you know? Obviously, it gets a little bit harder the more things that happen to you to get up, but, you know, I, it's not really a choice. You gotta just keep going, so. So, you know, I'm not the type of guy for New Year's resolutions, honestly. I find them stupid, and I have yet to follow through with one longer than a week, or meet anyone else who has, so. So while I'm not going to be doing anything like that, because we all know how that's going to end, I do kind of think like, you know, using this video as like a way to kind of challenge myself to like, bounce back a bit, I suppose, is, you know, that's kind of something I want to do. And you know, at the very least, I think some good can come out of it. Because the thing is, like, I've been kind of looking at how I respond to these situations and things like that, and I don't like the way that I'm treating them in a weird way so because like apart from these videos which you know without them I'm pretty sure I would have like fucking shot myself by now <laughs> thank goodness for a little bit of a distraction but like I've been shutting myself out and lashing out at some people on rare occasions but still it's not something I like the fact that I do even if I apologize for it after the fact and at some points, I find myself really tempted to just cope with the bad things that have happened to me by really hating the people who have done them to me. And while naturally I guess that makes a bit of sense, I don't find it very productive and I definitely don't think it's going to fix anything. I don't want to be the type of guy who responds to negativity by being even more negative and even more destructive and adding to the cycle. I want to be able to, like, you know, be a forgiving person, and if anything, to be forgiving to a fault. I would much rather be <laughs> that kind of person. And so, what does that actually mean I'm gonna do? Well, I think for one, I want to, like, tune things up in my social space a little bit. Like, you know, I definitely want to, like, instead of shutting myself out and hanging out in private rooms all day, instead of, like, actually, like, trying to socialize and 
kind of not talking to people in real life and stuff, I want to I wanna try to break from that, even though, in all honesty, like, I don't want to want to. And so, what does that mean I'm actually going to do? Well, for one, I want to kind of fix the way I'm approaching socializing a bit. Like, you know, for one, I've kind of been like, you know, just not trying to make new friends at all, apart from like, you know, the people who I meet in the Discord and stuff. But like, you know, I only hang out in private rooms on VR chat and I don't really engage with anybody in real life, like in my classes anymore, just because, you know, I've, I've, I've been exhausted with it. But I want to be able to give that another good shot because, you know, if it wasn't for the times that I did that when it was really uncomfortable back in 2019, I would have never met my first friend group and they, like I said, made my life like a hundred thousand times better so why wouldn't I try to do that? And so like even though I don't really like want to want to like because life sucks lately but <laughs> and I'm exhausted but and you know for the people that things haven't been going well with I want to make sure that you know I do what I can for like you know if kind of haven't been hanging out too much try to throw it out there try to get things going again and if not oh well but like you know and then for the people that like things have been going really bad with i want to kind of make sure that it's established that like the door is always open and things are you know i don't want to be i don't want to hold grudges and i want to make sure that i don't think of them badly just because of something that happened you know for a couple days in a several year long friendship that you know made my life so much better i don't want to let that soil it so even if we don't end up hanging out, I don't want to hold them in bad regards. I, I, I at least hope that that makes sense. I'm <laughs> trying my best. <laughs> and what else does that mean that I'll do? Well, I also want to focus on the positives a little bit because I really think I should at this point. And like I said, probably one of the actual biggest positives has been me making this channel. I don't want to look back at this year and see it as like, you know, the last year that I hung out with this person or was able to see this family member. I want to look back at this year and be like, hey, this was the year that I started my channel and I made a bunch of friends because of it and a lot of nice videos and had a lot of fun times. And you know, even though I'm not exactly exploding and or like f crazy famous or anything like that, I've been doing pretty good. And it's been a, like a lot of little things that I was able to celebrate. like. Today, just while logging into YouTube, they sent me a message saying that I got a total of 500 hours of watch time on my channel, which... That's freaking great! That's awesome! That's <laughs> a lot more time than it took me to make those videos, so if it's 500 hours worth of good times people will have, hopefully at least, you know, that kind of makes it feel worth it. And just like as a fun little side note for me, that means that, you know, you need a total of 4,000 hours of watch time and 1,000 subs to be able to get monetized. And, you know, that means that I'm one eighth of the way there, which is like more than I ever thought I would. And it's kind of like a dream of mine to be able to like at least have YouTube as a side hobby. I mean, a side job. And, you know, at the time I'm recording right now, I got 430 subscribers, which, like, to some isn't a lot, but, like, to me personally, that's crazy that even that many people like my channel enough to subscribe and stuff. And if I look at the analytics, I see that there's even a lot more people who do come and watch the videos and stuff. And, you know, that does mean a lot to me. And, you know, I don't want to, like, throw out predictions or anything, but, like, it does look like before the channel's a year old, I'll be able to hit 500 subs, which is kind of crazy when you think about it. And, you know, if I got a good thing going, I should probably invest more into it, since right now it's, like, you know, one of the main things I got going on right now. And so hopefully, like, you know, in the coming year, I'll try my best to, like, do more uploads and be a bit more consistent and try to do some more different things and stuff, like, even right now I'm trying something different. Usually when I do update videos I'm just saying what's like going on and why I didn't upload but this time instead I'm kind of talking about bigger things. I already got a couple little things planned like for one I you know even though I adore the pump cat model super much it's you know not my character and I was thinking like oh if I want this to be my channel why don't I try to get a custom avatar and so I've been like working on the designs for it it's gonna still be a kitty, but it's gonna be like super cool. And hopefully I'll be able to like get an avatar commissioned for it. And then I'll be able to like, you know, use that for the channel, which would be amazing, honestly. And so, you know, I wanna be able to look back at this point in my life 
and instead of thinking like, damn, that's where everything went wrong, I want to be able to like, see how I've improved from there. And I think that the ways I'm looking at right now and the things I want to focus on would be the things that would make me happy, so that's what we're going to do. My finger was acting a little bit weird there. And you know, like, if some of you guys have been having a pretty bad year, or if it's also been ending on a pretty bad note, then, like, hopefully this is something you can kind of relate to, and maybe, like, try to also come up with a good idea for next year to make it less bad. But yeah, so, that's really all I had to say. I just wanted to be able to, like, kind of show what's going on right now. Be able to, like, look back at it later, tell you guys what's up, and end the year with a bittersweet note, I suppose. I was gonna say a good note, but I don't really know. <laughs> but yeah. Boink. Hope everything's going good. Yeah. So. That's all I got. Have a good New Year's. Let's start this New Year good gamers. And yeah, that's all I got. Bye-bye.